But the news that Heath Ledger has been found dead at just 28 was met with universal shock and sadness from his fans and colleagues. He's, uh, if not my favourite actor, uh, he's, uh, I don't know how to compare his talent to others, but uh, he, he's touched me deeply as a talent and, um, and uh, it's a great loss. I couldn't believe it. Um, you know, I think that's been the, the, the kind of reaction worldwide. It's just like this knife has come in and just, just cut off this life, this incredible potential. As the news sunk in, family and friends gathered to mourn in the actor's hometown of Perth. While media speculated about the cause of death, Heath Ledger's father Kim, mother Sally and sister Kate emerged to discount any theory of suicide. We, Heath's family, confirmed the very tragic, untimely and accidental passing of our dearly loved son, brother and doting father of Matilda. He was found peacefully asleep in his New York apartment. Okay, okay, okay. Just two months ago, the actor told a reporter he became stressed when he took on the persona of Bob Dylan in the recent film I'm Not There, and he admitted taking medication to help him sleep while portraying a dark, complicated version of the Joker in the upcoming Batman film. It's like just losing this treasure. He was a, a great artist. It's just um, a great career that, that stopped way, way too soon. Action. Neil Armfield directed Heath Ledger in the Australian film Candy. I was always worried in Candy that uh, the performance was, was too inward. He knew what he was doing. Uh, it revealed itself so clearly in, in editing. He was such a master of the unspoken. He was so in control of his talent and the mystery of it. How good would that be? Heath is, is clearly one of the great actors uh, of his generation. Despite the relative brevity of his life and career, Heath Ledger won enormous respect. Colleagues and critics today recalled a prodigiously talented and dedicated actor taking unconventional roles, capable of so-called acting miracles. He was born in Perth, named after Heathcliff from Wuthering Heights. This is first of all baby Heath. Look at this. Uh, now what are, were you playing Ned Kelly even at that age? What, yeah. are, what is that? What are you in? A potty. <laughs> a brass potty. Couldn't afford nappies, no. huh? No. <laughs> he dropped out of school at 16, drove to Sydney, and as the story goes, landed there with 69 cents to his name. The young actor never took formal lessons. Nevertheless, his talent was noted as a gay cyclist in the TV series Sweat. And at 20, he gained prominence in the Australian film Two Hands. Two Hollywood films soon followed, including a role as a troubled son in the acclaimed Monsters Ball, underlining his tendency to choose unusual roles and edgy characters. Everyone saw what uh, incredible depth of, um, of, of sort of mental, emotional, psychological um, pressure Heath could, could carry in his performance. He has had the, like the greatest, uh, the greatest potential to, to kind of go anywhere. He's a brilliant comedian, um, such a, a, an extraordinary hold on, on sadness and, and, and complication in a part. But I am a widow's son, outlawed. My orders must be obeyed. His portrayal of Ned Kelly in 2003 earned him an Australian Film Industry Best Actor nomination. At about the same time, Heath Ledger put his personal passions on display, protesting against Australia's involvement in the Iraq invasion. What am I going to blow up? My, my career? In the end of the day, my career is so insignificant to, you know, this, this war. It just is. And, you know, I'm willing to, like, lose a few jobs over it. God. By far, the standout success of his career was his depiction of a gay cowboy in Ang Lee's Brokeback Mountain. You going to do this again next summer? Well, maybe not. Like I said, me and I was getting married in November, so uh, we're trying to get something on the ranch, I guess. The portrayal earned him an AFI International Award, as well as nominations for an Oscar, a Golden Globe, a BAFTA and Screen Actors Guild Award, um, even as some US cinemas refused to screen the homosexual love story. I don't think the topic is con controversial, nor do I think it should be. Yeah. Um, I'm an actor, and it's... And uh, I've taken it upon myself, I've made it my responsibility to, um, you know, investigate different walks of life 
um, and try my best to portray it. The movie also introduced him to fellow actor Michelle Williams. They were engaged and had a daughter Matilda, who's now two years old. The couple separated about six months ago. For Heath Ledger, fame brought sometimes unwelcome attention from the paparazzi, and he developed a somewhat combative attitude towards certain parts of the media. It's a little uncomfortable with, with people, uh, cameras and uh, you know the spies, that, that hunt, the stalkers that hunt you down with those cameras. Um, but you know, you just, I guess you've just got to take it on the chin. I don't think Heath had difficulty handling fame. I think that he had difficulty handling the kind of um, uh, inhuman and, and uh, totally um, unreasonable kind of intrusions into his privacy. And now in death, his life will again be the subject of intense scrutiny, while his work will attract the strange glamour that comes with the untimely passing of big screen stars. In the meantime, his loved ones will be dealing with a much more personal grief. He was a down-to-earth, generous, kind-hearted, life-loving, unselfish individual who was extremely inspirational to many. He's so intelligent, such a great artist, and it just seems uh, quite inexplicable. It does indeed. Mary Guerin with that report.